Uh, this is the second part of the, today's lecture. So, um, <clears throat> yeah, eating is okay. Uh, eating snacks, snack and drinking coffee uh, is perfectly okay. Um, eating jajangmyeon <laughs> has a little bit problem, I think. Uh, because you have to move a lot. But anyway, yes, here we resume and getting to this. Um, okay, for Deleuze, the other is, uh, yes, uh, people say Deleuze doesn't refer to the other that much. But actually, he does. Uh, not using that word, the other, that much, but uh, the ho whole range of his explanation, philosophy, is about the other, the trans phenomenal. Okay? It's not just phenomenal multiplication of things, it's tra about trans phenomenal, okay? transcendence. Now, because it's the root, the source of everything that happens in the world and you too, okay? For Deleuze, the other is not an object or uh, uh, I mean thing or uh, 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 human or I mean here thing. The other who is quote, neither uh, an object in the field of my perception nor a subject who perceives me, okay? So, is uh, it belongs uh, neither, it belongs to neither. So the other is completely outside of our mind or outside of what we feel or think about. So it's not the world where um, I think therefore I am, cogito orgosum stands. It does not stand anymore, okay? I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. It didn't, didn't stand in the past in ancient world, but uh, people thought as if it were uh, standing there. Uh, it, may, it made sense, but uh, people found it's not like that. Now here, although both uh, Deleuze and Levinas uh, acknowledge the genuine transcendence, and uh, Levinas, blah, blah, Levinas lays uh, emphasis on the otherness of the exteriority, which means outside, outside of the empirical self. Empirical self means uh, now yourself uh, are listening to me and you know what I'm talking about. That's uh, your empirical self, okay? thinking self, but your real self uh, does not show, uh, show up. It doesn't appear, but it's still there. And your empirical self is a representation of your real self. So it's exteriority of your empiricism or, or uh, experienced world, okay? your mind, signified mind. I am convinced that, uh, oh, this, this I is just me, okay? Uh, so I'm convinced that uh, the capitali capitalization is done by myself before this um, uh, lecture, like 30, uh, uh, one hour ago. So don't worry, um, this is uh, just okay. Levinas is more truthful and positive to what deserves the term infinity, quote unquote, infinity, that is wholly heterogeneous to the self as the same, self as the same means, uh, in Korean, uh, it, it, it's always the same because it always remains self-centered, self-centered. So it's, it goes only for itself, for the interest of yourself. Self. So it's uh, ego or uh, in a broader sense, just mind. So, um, Infinity that is, but infinity is outside. So that's 
wholly heterogeneous, not homogeneous, but heterogeneous, okay? Uh, we're not talking about sexuality or something, but um, heterogeneous, uh, 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 different nature, the opposite nature, uh, or a wholly different nature. So heterogeneous to the self, self as the same, the ego, okay? That's outside that. Now, the loses notion of uh, infinity rather means the infinite movements of uh, infinite number of the infinite testimony forms of the body or phenomenon. Deleuze says that the uh, imp impersonal and pre-individual singularities uh, between the uh, binary opposition, binary opposition, think about tau, okay? Binary, two, binary means two, and then opposition, and by, it tries to bind, okay? Through struggles, tries to kill the other, in other words. Uh, or harm the other, uh, feeling pride uh, between the uh, binary oppositions is the essence of humanity that is free from the ego, free from the ego. So impersonal, uh, Deleuze said, so when the impersonal, okay, but it has a problem. Now, personally, you have thought impersonally you don't have any thought because you're uh what you're thinking is and, and and everything that you go through in your everyday life is conditioned okay i am here in my room i have the uh world map on the back uh so on and so forth we are uh, all living in the in the city of busan uh in south korea or whatever and then and this planet or whatever that's the all conditions so we are conditioned now when we are not impersonal it, that's in a personal experience right? Although we are in group, of course, that's uh, what we feel and experience. So we, when we are impersonal, we don't have any thought. So impersonal and pre-individual singularities does not mean you're uh, belonging to a certain kind of group, Busan National University, Korea, okay, uh, United States. No, it's just no thought. Okay, you don't feel anything. So pre-individual singularities, what is it? Transcendental, okay, that's transcendental. Between the uh, binary oppositions is the essence of the humanity, okay? Then what you uh, feel uh, or uh, if you wanna still use that word experience or whatever, uh, that is, Emptiness, gong, emptiness. We have uh, we have to judge between good and evil, okay, or upper and lower side. And when we are impersonal, when we are not individual, when we are uh, 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 living as if we are not living, then uh, we don't have to choose. I, I mean. You know, uh, it's so it ego stands only for this form, and we're free, we're free from this uh decision making and okay? choice choosing. Now, uh, if you're um not taking my undergraduate class or uh graduate uh, course. Uh, you have a question, of course, uh, people who is the beginner of this kind of thinking has, of course, the question, why, uh, what is there uh, outside the phenomena? We're not talking about spirit uh, like ghost, okay? We are not. I never refer to any kind of ghost or any kind of world that we go after we die. Okay? Spirituality means right now here, here, right here, right now, now and here in the sequence of now and here, it's right there, but it doesn't appear. And it's the source of everything. 
It's the source of you and what you do, what you think about, and so on. And not only that, but it's the source of Busan, source of the United States, source of this plane, source of the whole world, so source of the whole universe. That's real you, okay? Jin Ah in, in, in Buddhism, Jina or Chamna, real I, true self, okay? Not only in Buddhism, but uh, 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 they talk about it also in, in Hinduism, but uh, Buddhism is the primary uh, religion. And, and I'm not really talking about Buddhism as a religion. Okay, you don't have to be a religion. I'm not promoting Buddhism here, uh, any religion. If you have, I told you already last, last time, if you don't have any religion, that's perfect. Okay, if you're Buddhist, that's perfect. If you're Christian, that's perfect. God is a name for the truth. Okay, truth is also a name. That's postmodern sense, not modern sense. Okay, knowledge is the power. No, it's intellectual power. We're not talking about intellectual power or intelligibility, but spiritual power, the ultimate uh, reality that art pursues, literature pursues, okay? Think about Hamnet, William Shakespeare's Hamnet. I told you again and again, hey, um, good, gu good guys and bad guys die. Not only bad guy, but good guy. A uh, good person, Henry dies, and his palace is uh, conquered by uh, Netherlands. Okay, uh, the Denmark is his country. He's dying. What makes he so? Uh, 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 what makes him so proud? Nothing. And also think about uh, 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 Jekyll and Hyde. Thematic approach doesn't succeed, okay? Thematic approach only goes for identifying like Jekyll is the uh, uh, good person and Hyde is a bad guy. Hey, uh, th think twice. This and this comprise one guy, one person, and he doesn't like this. So he kills him. What is the unique way of killing him? Committing suicide, okay? So this and this are one. Uh, to speak about it in a radical term, you can say um, good and evil are one, okay? But um, it doesn't seem so uh, if you're just a beginner of especially this, uh, not only the philosophy, philosophical thinking, but spiritual uh, uh, stuff. Here, impersonal events. Uh, Levinas was a, uh, an ethicist, ethicist. So he, he, he uh, said, uh, the, there's a person, perfect person, it's not personality, because personality is already a uh, phenomenon. But uh, it's, it's beyond pers personality, but uh, still, Ilya is an uh, impersonal thing. So Levinas said Ilya is nothing really precious. Okay? Uh, you are complete as a person. I mean, uh, it's of course different from uh, Deleuze's thinking, although they are all uh, both ethical. Now, um, just minutely in detail, uh, they're different. A desiring machine, uh, machine is the favorite word by uh, Deleuze. Desiring machine by uh, breaking 
the ontological connections between uh, phenomena, quote, produces a, a continuous infinite. Uh, I capitalized the word, the whole word, uh, just for you. It's not in the book. Uh, infinite flux, okay, everything goes in terms of flux, okay, infinite flux in the uh, infinite number of relations within in infinite number of objects, you and I, uh, uh, this person and that person and so on and so forth. Uh, we still have a relation with Obama and we still have a relation uh, with, with Trump. Whether you like him or not, doesn't matter, okay? Uh, we have a relationship with communists and we have, I mean, remote or not, the, the, how long the distance doesn't matter. Okay? Everything in the uh, universe are connected. Everything is connected. All things are connected. That's uh, the Indra net in uh, Avatar Zaka Sutra. Okay? Uh, Avatar, the, the flower ornament sutra shows that. Uh, the, the, uh, anyone who is interested in this kind of uh, thinking knows that. I mean, especially the Buddhist uh, philosophy. So um, I'm not promoting Buddhism, but Buddhism has the vastest uh, square uh, uh, size of the thinking uh, in quantity and quality to uh, very uh, open. So I'm using that, but in essence, every religion is just okay, or no religion is okay. So don't worry. <laughs> okay. Um, the One thing I have to say is uh, don't hate other people in uh, different religion. That's it. Now, proper name. Proper name does not designate an uh, individual. So uh, Levinas uh, mean, uh, says it's depersonalization, but uh, when uh, uh, it's different. Uh, for Deleuze, it's got to be proper name. Uh, proper name is this depersonalization, uh, but for Levinas, uh, the person is uh, actually uh, superior to uh, depersonalization, but they indicate the same thing, the transcendence. This thought of Deleuze is not in contrast to Levinas's notion of the proper name, blah, 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 against the traditional concept of uh, subject. They both go against the traditional concept. In other words, uh, let me take a very easy example, okay? Uh, people usually say, your teachers in high school and uh, um, uh, middle school say, said, um, uh, the more books you read, the more knowledge of yourself you're going to get. And that's true. But when they said that, uh, they meant uh, more of your personalization, personalized knowledge. Okay. What you know about yourself and life, you have to learn more about life and the world, what's going on outside yourself and so on and so forth. That's right. However, nonetheless, okay, nevertheless, these guys are not talking about that. These guys are talking about what's beyond that kind of knowledge, okay? Think about again, uh, Ham, the end of Hamlet again. If you really like uh, the good, Instead of bad, you have to hate bad and love good. Then Claudius dies and that, that'll do. Hamlet doesn't have to die, but Hamlet dies. And that's 
one of the, uh, if not the greatest, one of the greatest literary works ever written. William Shakespeare, wow. In Tess of the Dervervirus, Tess dies. Romeo and Juliet, Romeo and Juliet die. Joker uh, in Tibet, uh, Tim Bolton's Joker uh, uh, is just traditional, but when you see the uh, second version of uh, uh, the series, Dark Nights, the second version, which is titled just uh, Joker, uh, no, no, uh, Dark Knight, and also the separate Joker, that is the last one, Joker is not only the bad guy, okay? He's not only the bad guy. Oh my gosh. So don't be simple-minded that way, okay? Uh, so according to Levinas, objectivity is neither a being for itself, as Hegel thought, about it, um, that for self-consciousness, uh, so for Hegel, self-consciousness, self-conscious determination is important, okay? Henry determines to avenge his father, just like that. As a stable identity, nor is it some uh, impersonal Ilya itself. So Levinas likes uh, the whole self uh, as a perfect self, but um, um, actually, he doesn't end, uh, end up being just in that situation. Levi, uh, Derrida and Guattari, Levinas, uh, no, Deleuze and Guattari wrote uh, books together. They cooperated, of course. Action and manifestly distinguish desire without lack. We, we referred to it uh, earlier. So uh, uh, desire without lack and desire based on lack and on lack uh, 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 two different desires. Now in uh, a thousand plateaus, how do you make yourself a body without organs? It's same as in uh, Buddhism and Taoism, okay? Body without organs, what is that? Uh, just you have a body and then you, you don't have any organs. Uh, inside. <laughs> this, of course, uh, stands for some kind of pure um, entity, um, not thinking about trivial interests, for example, that the left hemisphere of, of your brains do. Uh, right hemisphere uh, goes for purity, uh, so to speak. So uh, body without organs um, is purity, purity, transcendence of life and your true self. A plateau is a, a piece of immanence. Uh, now here, um, well, I don't have much time for this, but this is very important. The most, imp I would say the most important uh, word in general in postmodernism and deconstruction and uh, theories in 20, uh, later 20th century and the 20th, 21st century. Now, the undecidability between good and evil, you're not really originally uh, able to decide, okay? It seems like we have to decide and we have the ability to decide. But in fact, it's not like that. We don't have to decide. We have to uh, take both blurred. That's what literature does. That's what art does, okay? Undecidability, uh, the under, my undergraduate students uh, would remember that word, unfinalizability, right? Uh, so uh, undecidability or indeterminacy, okay? That's Derrida's word. And rhizome is uh, Deleuze's word. This uh, rhizome means freedom. Uh, that's the root of the of, of certain kind of uh, plants that doesn't 
go uh, to the lower side, but to the upside too. So plane of consistency means outside of all phenomenal multiplications. Okay, Outs let me show you this. Okay. Um, let's go back to uh, this tau and then dualism uh, changes into this multiplication. Okay, uh, we don't have to. We don't just choose between good and evil, but uh, eighty percent good, twenty percent bad, or something like that. Uh, I like Busan uh, better than Seoul or Gyeongju, whatever. That's, so that's uh, multiplication. Okay, now look at this. More multiplied more. Okay. So um, we're talking about the transcendence and then transcendence is the middle, okay? Transmittal, I said. Now, let's go back. Uh, okay, here. Uh, so is, isn't that easy? I mean, I'm trying my best really to make it easy for, it for, uh, for you. Hey, good, bad, okay? It seems like we have to choose between good and evil. And we have to, we naturally go for a good. That's what everybody does, every country does. Then the conquering country says, this is good. Uh, uh, conquering is good. And the people being conquered said, uh, we are good, these are bad guys. There are only conflicts, struggles, killing, war. Eh? So we have to go out of this phenomenon. Going out means uh, just going in. In other words, uh, look, looking at it really carefully. Then we reach the root, the source of these phenomena. That's postmodernism. Okay. Now here, uh, we become. Uh, Deleuze says becoming, and it means primarily means becoming imperceptible. That's what goes in Buddhism too. Shakyamuni Buddha said this. This is this is awakening. Get out of in in Korean word. Uh, Shakyamuni Buddha, uh, after he, oh, he, 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 he reached awakening, in other words, after he was awakened, said, uh, I was not born. So I'm not going to die. If you're just a beginner, you would, say, you would say, are you crazy? Are you out of your mind? It's not like that. Your uh, physical entity was born and you're going to die, everyone, everything. But we yourself, the uh, bigger than the whole universe, that is real you, not your small ego. Okay, myself with this name. But I talked about Sung San Sunin. Uh, last time. So who are you? Like Socrates said, don't know. But I know the fact that I don't know myself because myself is, is bigger than the universe, right? So becoming imperceptibility, imperceptible is real becoming. So it's excess, it's more than uh, what is there, phenomenal, okay? So it's body without organs is that concept, okay? It's uh, according to Nancy, it's a spiritual feeling, spiritual feeling. Now, affect is a very important concept, not only in English literature, but in Korean literature too. Uh, Korean literature is, is uh, Jongdong. And so it is, affect is 
more subtle, very much more subtle feeling. Okay? Uh, it's not phenomenal. Like anger, uh, pleasure, and so on. But it's more subtle. It's, it's more uh, spiritual, if you want. And it goes like infection. Okay? You know what this means? Because this is the uh, period for vaccination, <laughs> COVID-19. So it's, it, it infects, right? Um, uh, mood of a film or mood of a literary work, a novel, Hamlet or a drama, that's important, uh, much more important than the words, the thing, the theme, the main idea, okay? So uh, we reached the end of the part two, and we're going to have a little break. Uh, this time, just five minutes, uh, shorter than before. And then uh, we're going to start talking about not only Levinas and Nancy, but Nagarjuna, who is uh, called the second Buddha. He, he's a very important figure in, in Buddhism. Thank you.